Okay, the first thing you'll want to do is prep your skin. You're going to want a, to get a moist towel and a cleanser and a moisturizer. You're just going to want to moisten your skin a little bit. And then get a little bit of cleanser. You don't have to use a lot. I'm using the new Vitali cleanser, but you don't have to use anything I recommend in this video. I kind of like it because it's just a gel cleanser and it works for getting rid of excess oil. And then you just want to rinse it off after, or wipe it off once you're done. And then you're going to want to take a moisturizer. I have the Clear Skin Professional Moisturizer. I'm just going to apply a little bit on your skin. Mm. Next, you'll want to prime your skin. And mm. here I'm using Mark Prime for Perfection Face Primer. Mm. And I'm going to be using Avon <laughs> Eye Primer. Um, it's just like a cream primer. And so you just want to take a little bit of face primer, just a little dot. Go ahead and start working that into your skin. Okay. <laughs> Then go ahead and take a little bit of eye primer, just take a tiny little dot and go ahead and start priming your eyes. Just kind of dab it on your lids. And you don't need a lot of primer, you can just use a little bit. Next you'll want to apply some foundation. Here I just have a tinted moisturizer and um, just gonna go ahead and start applying that with a makeup sponge. I just kind of picture Leanna Stark as being very pale and um, kind of wolf, like wolfish looking, so kind of angular in the face. So I want to kind of stick to doing that with her look here. Just to put a little bit of foundation onto your sponge and begin applying all over your face. <coughs> Next you're going to start applying a little bit of eyeshadow but it's just going to be very neutral looking and just to kind of give your eyes a little bit of accent. So this is an Aveda cream color eyeshadow and just take a little bit onto a soft eyeshadow brush and just apply that all over your lid and under your brow bone. Kind of dab this on. Aveda eyeshadows kind of need to be dabbed on. They can't just be swept on. This is um, MAC Soft Brown Matte Eyeshadow. You're going to want to apply this into your just your eye crease area just to give your eye a little bit of shadow to it, but not like an excessive amount. So go ahead and use another soft eyeshadow brush. Mm. And just tap this into your crease. Mm. If you have really small eyes, go ahead and just apply it right above your crease, so just a little bit above it. I kind of do that if I want more definition. Um, you don't need to go over the top though. Next, you're going to want to use a brown eyeliner around your eyes and just use a small amount and um, just apply it on your lower and upper lash line. And you're going to want to smudge it a little bit lightly with your fingertip you don't want it to be overly done. You just want to give your eyes a small bit of definition. And yeah, 
just go ahead and smudge it lightly with your fingertip. Next for your lips, you're going to want to outline them in a nice light brownish pinkish lip liner. This is an Aveda liner that I'm using right here and you'll just want to take it and line your lips. Just the outline. And this should give you a nice neutral lip but also make your lips have a little bit of definition to them. Next, next you want to add a little bit of neutral Ooh. lip color. This is Caramel Ultra Color Lipstick. You just apply a little bit in the middle. Mm. I almost forgot to add some mascara. You'll want to add just a little bit of mascara. This is MAC Zoom Lash. Just add like one coat of mascara. You don't want it to look overdone or anything. And make sure there's no clumps whatsoever. Just kind of a nice dark lash. You just want to kind of dab it on the lower too. So she has some nice thick, so you get some nice thick dark lashes like what I imagine she'd probably have. Next you're going to be giving your eyebrows a little bit of definition. And then just take a matte eyeshadow color that matches your eyebrow color or use one that's like one shade darker and just kind of sweep it on to your brows and give them a little bit of definition. It doesn't have to be excessive but just kind of give it some shape. Alright, so what I was kind of saying earlier, I was saying that I think that she'd be kind of wolfish looking and like pale and have like a lot of um, angles to her face. So you're going to want to start drawing out a little bit of angles to the face while keeping it looking natural. So take an eyeliner. This is an Aveda brown liner. Actually, I think it's cacao. And just draw on a line on each side of your face. Kind of make sure it's lined up. And go ahead and just kind of blend that in and see how that looks. Kind of, you want to kind of try and make it look like your face is a little bit longer than it is. Mine is kind of round so I might need to do a little bit more lining to make it look more long shaped. Um, so just kind of rub that in. If it gets too dark, go ahead and go over it with a little bit of foundation and blend it in further if it doesn't look well enough blended. And then um, another thing you can do is kind of line the sides of your nose. It doesn't have to be perfect though. And just give it a little bit of definition there. When I was coming up with like what kind of a look she might wear, I was just kind of imagining like the anti Cersei. Like I don't picture her like Cersei at all. Just I picture her very dark and pale and kind of definitely more like a Stark. <laughs> and like in many ways she is kind of like the anti Cersei because she's like the other one that was promised to Robert but Obviously, he ended up with Cersei instead. Couldn't stand her. <laughs> the story is so crazy. It, like, absorbs you in. I feel like I'm talking about them like they're real. They're not real, obviously, but it's, like, crazy. So, it kind of gave me a little bit of arch going on. 
yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the look. Just a kind of a natural look with a little bit of more definition to facial features and a little bit more contouring to make the face shape look more long and angular. Um, so if you have any questions for me at all, you can go ahead and leave those in the comments. And um, thank you for watching.